So for years I had this idea of making a zodiac style or zodiac shaped uh, boat out of high density polyethylene plastic generally found in pipe and I was going to cut it and make the pontoons and figure out the hull one way or another and I struggled finding the right pipe for a really long time and then finally was able to um, acquire some and so we started building a boat in the spring of 2023. I had the idea and the plans more or less in my head already. It was pretty simple, straightforward. I did up some drawings on the computer. And the first challenge was cutting the pipe, uh, mitering the angles to the right angles and square and clean. Uh, and that was uh, the first challenge that we had to overcome. So first we had to figure out what we were going to cut with. It ended up being a chainsaw. And then we had to rig up a, a miter box that would work. The first one got chewed up by the chainsaw so we ended up gluing blocks to the chainsaw bar to save the, the miter box but it actually ended up working pretty good in the end. <laughs> So once we had all the pieces cut, we laid them out on the floor and made sure everything would be would fit and, and sit together in the right shape. And then the next challenge was how to fuse them together. So we used a heating plate to, to heat the plastic and fuse it together. Uh, but we needed to come up with a way to press the plastic together with enough pressure and hold it consistency consistently while the, the plastic fused and and all of that so we came up with these wooden clamps and some ready rod and it worked okay we've since uh, improved on the design but it wasn't until almost the end of using all of the pipe but it worked I would do things differently next time which there, there plans to be a, a next time um, but it did work so we got all the uh, pieces fused uh, with a heat plate pressed together a nice rolled bead out where they fuse together we we wrecked some of the the clamps in the process as well I probably won't use plywood next time and uh, we got all the pieces uh, together we had to put some um, wooden discs inside the pipe to make it round and become a little bit deformed and some of those wooden discs are still inside like you can see here uh, next time I'll probably use some HDP plastic instead of wood and then we'll fuse those in as baffles next time. So the next step was to cut out and fuse in the transom and the ribs. All of the ribs and, and the transom were cut out using my dad's homemade CNC table.
So we used the, the heat plate to do the pipe, but everything else had to be uh, fused by hand, uh, basically using a heat gun and uh, HDP rods. It's, it's very, very similar to normal welding, but it's, it's with plastic. So once I got all of the ribs and everything welded in, the next step was to start skinning the bottom. And the first few pieces on the back were actually not too bad. The challenge came on the bow where the odd shaped pieces and curved and weird angles. So we had to design that on the computer to get the right pieces. And again, everything was cut out on the CNC machine. When it came to doing all of this hand welding on the skin, the, the biggest thing I found was getting it too hot and, and melting and warping it. It, it tends to <clears throat> bubble and, and bend a lot more than any steel or metal you would normally deal with. So you got to weld a little bit here or a little bit there and go back and fill in holes. And you can't run a continuous bead until you've got uh, a serious amount to actually lay down intact, especially using the thin material that we were using. But, you know, in the end, I got it all sealed up with at least one pass on most places. Uh, almost got two passes everywhere else. And this is where we're at now. And the next steps are going to be to start fusing everything on the inside. And then we move on to power. Right. So that's where I'm at now. Uh, we'll continue finishing up all the welding on where we're at with the skin and the ribs, get that all completed. And the next step is the plan is to install a uh, jet drive from a uh, 110 horsepower Kawasaki jet ski or, or sea to personal watercraft, whatever you prefer to call them. Um, really looking forward to seeing how that turns out in the end the ultimate goal is to actually build a bigger one this one will be around 13 and a half feet long um, i'm gonna guess it's gonna weigh around 500 pounds total um, but yeah we'll keep trying to document it as much as i can through the, the course of it all i'll try to get more video it, it's hard uh, when you're in the middle of building these things to stop and take video so i tend to just take pictures after i'm already done doing certain things but I'll, I'll make an effort to make more videos on on the building process as we go here show how the welding is actually done and uh stay tuned keep watching see how it turns out make sure you like and subscribe and uh i'll see you next time <music>